2023 is here and we're on the brink of a new age. What if I told you there's technology coming out that could completely change our day-to-day -day lives in the near future? Let's talk about it. First off, welcome to the new year. It's uh, already had a great start. take a moment to reflect on the past year. Not only did I start my channel, but in particular, I did a video on artificial intelligence. Does, does anything make you happy? I'm not sure I understand. Do I make you happy? I really couldn't say. Well, Siri, you broke my heart. I'm not sure I understand. No, no, I'm... Okay. <laughs> And in the time after I created that video, there have been even more developments in the artificial intelligence world. For example, in my last video, I talked about Lambda, a chatbot that had far exceeded some of the engineers' expectations. And since then, OpenAI, powered by Microsoft, has released their own called ChatGPT. After the release of the chatbot, there were even concerns raised at Google that it could replace some of their search engine's functions. Now, if you couldn't tell, this could have a ripple effect of changes to the world around us. No wonder the concerns were raised at Google. Think every time you go to Google something, their whole business model is to make you sift through tons and tons of websites with different advertisements. If you use ChatGPT, you could type in a question and it will give you a reliable answer with backed up evidence. And chatbots like this not only could be used for research purposes, but also to take care of some menial writing tasks, such as writing essays. Small content creators, such as independent YouTubers, Twitch streamers, and social media influencers are an important part of the online community. They bring unique perspectives and voices. Ready, emails. Subject, please support my channel. Dear viewers, I hope this email finds you well. I am writing to ask for your support for my YouTube channel. I have put a lot of time and effort into creating content that I hope you will enjoy and find informative. If you enjoyed watching my video, I would greatly appreciate it if you could take a moment to like it and subscribe to my channel. This will help me reach more people. And if I was an OnlyFans model, I'd be jumping at this opportunity to take care of some of my creepy clientele. I'm sorry to hear that. It's important to have social connections and support. There are many ways to meet new people and build relationships such as joining clubs or groups with interests you have, volunteering for organizations you are passionate about, or trying online dating. It can also be helpful to talk to a therapist or counselor to work through any issues that may be preventing you from forming connections with others. Besides the creation of a new super AI, we've also seen the popularization of artificial intelligence art. Over time, AI art has become more and more common among people. At first, it was sort of a niche thing on Reddit, and then it developed into people paying for a service to have their portraits redone. And now it's as simple as using a TikTok effect. But since it's become a little questionable where these AIs are getting their data sets from, the data set is used for the AI to study and base all its knowledge off of. For example, a little bit of drama happened on the art Reddit page. An artist posted their work to the page and a moderator took it down and banned them saying that they were flagrantly using AI to generate the art. The artist insisted that his work was original and everything got worked out, but I think what it shows is that it's really hard to tell the difference between art that's created by a human an art that's created by an artificial intelligence. Damn, if I was an artist and I found out that there was AI making the same stuff that I was, I would probably spiral into an existential crisis. 
My life is a lie. My life is a lie. Somebody's got to get stabbed. And that brings me to the most important thing in the world. Us. What's important is this guy right here. What happens when AI can make better and faster decisions than any human management could? What happens when we bridge the mechanical gap between AI and labor? What will you do when the world can just be run on autopilot? Myself, I have two words for you. It's day and drunk, all right? I'm gonna be f -f 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 faded every day, okay? That's my plan. I'm gonna be drunk and high and I'm gonna live my best life. But if some of you want to focus on pff, lesser aspects such as raising a family or, you know, putting time into a passion of yours, don't worry too much. Even ChatGPT sees there's some strengths that are just not replicable when it comes to artificial intelligence. And I think that's good. I think that's what humans were actually put on this earth to do. However, all humanity is going to be lost if we are paying for the robots to create the art for us. And since it's a new year, new you, new video, we're gonna have a new horoscope, all right, people? Currently in the Capricorn season, it's a time of practicality, you know, maybe you're setting up goals, getting your life together, finally, after the years of cocaine. Now, moving into Aquarius, you might have a sort of epiphany, like, hmm, maybe if I do it this way, I'm gonna achieve my goals that way. Keep an eye out. Anyway, that was the Universe Report. Have a good one. I'll see you next time.